Hey, what's up guys? So uh, we're back. We're looking at, uh, these are the stocks that I'm currently interested in. Um, you can see the color uh, chart on the right of just recent moves that we've made uh, or potentially will make. Um, as of right now, if you're not familiar, uh, so we looked at Tesla, CRISPR, AMD, and Google recently. And me personally, I made a buy on these uh, just in the past couple days. So assuming nothing's changed crazily over the past like two days, uh, those are the ones that I would look into potentially making a buy on those. Those seem to be like the best deals. Again, I don't know what's happened over the past couple days, but uh, those ones are ones that I'd look into if you want to add to your position or create a position in that. Uh, today, what I think we're going to look at is Starbucks. Um, I don't really buy their coffee or anything, but some of my coworkers today, they were looking at it. Uh, not the stock, but, you know, it just came up in conversation. They, I never really was interested in buying this stock until, you know, I just asked them, why do they go there as opposed to, you know, some other coffee place and, uh, I mean, the one that came up was Dunkin' Donuts, and, um, you know, I just asked if they were both, you know, next door, where are you going to go? And they said Starbucks, and I was like, but why? Like, why would you go there to the other? It, like, if you were going to get the same order at the same place, why would you go to this place rather than that place? And uh, the one thing that they both agreed on is they just said it's better coffee, so... Uh, and coffees doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. People like their Starbucks, so you know what? Let's let's see if I were to open a position in this, where would that be? Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with what we're doing, right now I'm just adding in the lines. Uh, the black lines right now are what I believe to be like the low point where you might be able to get it at that price going forward, but it's probably gonna be rare. And then the peak time is currently 121. Uh, you might, we might see that price again in the future, probably. I mean, it's, if this company continues to grow, we'll see it again and maybe go beyond that. But um, that is like an ultimate high. Uh, and then the green line we have, that's going to be what I think would be a good time for me to buy. Like that would be a great time for me to buy. And of course, if I can get it below that line, even better. And then the red line would be a time where I would want to actually sell the stock, maybe make a couple bucks. Um, and then the blue line is kind of like what I think is like a fair price, what, what kind of it's in the middle of the range. So uh, I set up the black lines. The black line is for the low, right around 70, but it's 69. And then the black or the high would be about 121, almost 122. And so if I was looking into selling this, I think the shorter line would be about 113. You know, it's hit its head there for a number of weeks, a solid period of, oh man, close to seven-ish months what's that let's see april to january so like oh maybe close to eight months it just hung out there it did go above for a week and then it came right back down a couple weeks later so i think that's a decent time to sell uh in terms of buying uh maybe here-ish right around right around 80 I'm gonna make it a little bit higher just because I don't want to be too stingy if I see it's at 82 and I'm like oh I can wait a little longer um, you know I don't want to play a nickels and dimes game here when we're looking at dollars so um, so I'm putting it there at least at the moment just because it seems like uh, it was a support line back here in like September of 2020 never came back until March of 2022 then it was a little bit of support again it broke for a couple weeks maybe or a couple months I mean maybe three months 
I don't know if I said it, but each one of these bars is a week. So keep that in mind. Uh, and then again, more recently, it held a support. So I think that's a fair, a fair spot to buy around 81. And then if I was looking at this mid price, like, um, this one's a little bit, I'm not sure where to put this one. You know, I could put it here because it, it acted as support at least once. And then a little bit here, like it hesitated for a couple weeks. And then when it broke below, couldn't get above it for this moment. Couldn't get above it at this moment. I, I think I like that line. Uh, it's only slightly above this little high only slightly above this little high going back early 2020. So I think that's a fair line. And so once again, if we look at the current price, it's 103. So I'm just going to update my little chart, my spreadsheet over here. Uh, so feel free to kind of look at the, uh, the technical analysis marks. The buy we're saying 81 and the short slash sell position is about 113. So let me just add that. Whoop. Okay, so I think we're good here. Okay, so this is all we did for the spreadsheet. We added this one down here. Uh, for me, right now, it's it's closer to the sell side, in all honesty. Um, did I add that right? Yeah, so, um, and once again, these aren't like exact numbers, I mean, like you just want them as close as possible at least that's what I'm trying to do so for this one you know definitely I'm not buying it right now um, if it came close to 91 that would be like the first moment where I'd consider it and um, you know just looking at it again let's see whenever it it took a long time for it to go below 91 in all honesty it might not come back to 91 for a long time we'll, we'll find out or at least 91, it should come back to 91, but 81, that one I'm a little more questionable about. But the times where it broke above 91, it stayed above for nearly a year, over a year. Then when it broke below that line, it hung out here for about two, about eight months. And so right now we're in this range, this kind of overpriced range and so, yeah, when it goes above the blue line, stays above, went below the blue line, stayed below for a good while, not as long, and now we're back above it. So uh, I'll just be patient on this one. Um, again, I would say the first time I'd consider it is 91. Uh, and then below, closer to 81, that'd be all the sweeter. But yeah, so that's that's kind of where I stand for this. So in terms of like a color coding, I'm not looking to buy. If anything, I might put a short on it, but probably not. It's not high enough. It's not overvalued. Um, so I didn't make a buy, obviously. I'm, I didn't make a s sell or anything. Um, yeah, so I'll just wait. There's no color for it. Uh, so that that wraps up this one. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think about this stock and just the levels that you are considering maybe buying. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye, guys.